Welcome to Mosquito Render. In this video, we will talk about how Mosquito Render can handle high polygon counts and complex scene setups. Especially the amount of materials and amount of polygons is of interest in this video. We have this uh, nice model from Andre Cantarell. It's a high polygon uh, White House model. Um, at the end of the video, you can check out his uh, webpage. He has amazing models and we are thankful that we could have one of those massive models to test our renderer with. The scene is uh, a pretty simple setup. We have a skylight and the skylight is using our enhanced mosquito sun system and that includes the sky and sun object as well. So uh, to show you how uh, complex this scene is, we're just going to fire up the renderer. And as you can see, we already have some lag in 3D Studio Max. So it's a really heavy scene we have here. So we started the rendering. Now the Max pre-processing starts, collecting all the objects, faces and polygons. And um, we just let collect the stuff and we do a little time warp in this video just to uh, show you that we have over 18 million unique polygons and you can see how fast uh, Mosquito Render can handle this amount of faces and 3D Studio Max alone would take 15 gigabyte for this scene to process it and we still can render this on a 4 gigabyte GPU card from NVIDIA. Okay, we are going to stop this, but it's not only about polygon count. Mosquito Render is the first GPU render that really has no restriction on materials. And you can see there's a lot of materials in this scene. There's multi-sub-object materials, nested object materials, noise generators, procedural materials, and we have this special material here that uses an opacity mapped object. So um, let's unhide this object, this plane, right in front of the camera. And for uh, the purpose of showing how we can adjust uh, such a complex scene in real time, we are firing up Active Shade. And as you can see right now, our uh, um, plate object is way too dark for the environment uh, illumination. So what we are going to do is we are going to adjust the illumination level of our plate object in front of the building. And we're doing that by just clicking onto the RGB and we increase the RGB output. And as you can see right now, this is all in real time. You adjust the parameter and it will instantly update. And keep in mind, this is a heavy object in the background. We have 18 million polygons here that are right now processed in real time. You have really interactive rates at which these updates happen. So. I think we, we match the intensity levels from the background right now pretty good. And we can move on to show you some other uh, things you can still do with this heavy object in Mosquito Render. And keep in mind the materials Mosquito Render supports are really all the standard 3D Studio Max materials and more. So we're going to select the uh, skylight and we're going to adjust uh, the daylight system a little bit. So uh, how about if we go into the early sunrise and as you can see it updates instantly. We can change our sun position or skylight sun and we will get an instant update on uh, the rendering. Okay, how about noon? Let's set the time to noon and you will get as well an instant upgrade here how the illumination level would look like at noon. And again, keep in mind this is full global illumination, reflections, refractions, complex materials, everything fully uh, included in here. And uh, let's move on to uh, a different scene. 
So as I said, it's not only about the polygon, the pure horsepower you have for polygon count and uh, things like that. It's also just being able to load any scene that uses standard features of 3D Studio Max. Like this scene, for example. It comes with any 3D Studio Max installation as default. The only thing we change here is we set Mosquito Render as our rendering engine. If you don't remember, it's this little animation we have here. And even this little scene, simple scene, you might say, uh, you won't find a GPU renderer who does that right now, except Mosquito Render. We have the gradient RAM supported, we have falloff supported, we have blend material supported. Everything you use in 3D Studio Max is really supported by Mosquito Render. And we're talking here about full highly optimized GPU shaders. Okay, let's see how this works. For that we'll bring up Active Shade. That's our Mosquito Render Active Shade and you can see we get the noise structures really nice and well. And even if we play back, we can uh, see in Active Shade uh, really fast. And if we stop, we get the final rendering really fast in Active Shade with Mosquito Render including shadows and all kinds of materials you might have there, reflections, refractions, for example. And that's the great thing. And we think that's also the great big advantage. Mosquito Render is the first GPU renderer that actually behaves like a CPU renderer you know. Thanks for watching this video and check out our other videos as well.